If you're like me and you have hundreds of LUTs on your computer, maybe even thousands of LUTs, then this video is for you. Because today I'm going to talk about the Color Finale LUTs app and how it can help you to organize and manage your ever-growing LUT collection. Oh, and let's not forget, we're giving away the LUT app as well as two LUT packs to three lucky people. So stick around, you don't want to miss out on that. This is the Color Finale LUTs interface. Let's start by importing all the LUTs that you own. And you can do that by clicking on this plus icon over here by disk folders. I store my LUTs in the movies folder under motion templates where I have my effects and my titles and transitions. I've also created a LUTs folder where I store all my LUTs. Simply import those. And if you click on this drop down arrow, you can see it starts to populate here. With this panel selected, I'll go in and select a folder. I'll click on this panel and I'll select another folder and that populates these little panels with the different LUTs. Both the cinematic pack and the grading pack come from Color Finale and it's really easy to apply these LUTs to the sample image to see what it looks like. You simply double click on any of the LUTs and it applies that to the sample image so you can get an idea of what it looks like. There are a bunch of different LUTs in these two packs to choose from so you can go wild with the different looks that you can create. That's a basic overview of the app and some of the Color Finale LUTs, but let's talk a little bit more about some of the features that make this app really cool. You can add a reference image so that you can see how all of these LUTs look, not just on the sample image, but on your actual footage. Click on image, you can either add a still image or a movie file. I'm going to add a movie file because that just works the best for me. Let's head over to the footage. And let's just pick a clip, maybe that one. You can scrub through here to pick a frame that you'd like to use as the reference frame. And I'll click use frame. I can double click on any of these LUTs just to get an idea of what they would look like. And it's really cool to just have all of these LUTs load so quickly and to have a nice preview of how these LUTs look without having to do too much. What I really like about the app is that I can see a real-time preview of all of my LUTs and I'm not waiting for the LUTs to load or to generate a thumbnail. It's really fast and that makes picking the right LUT for your footage super easy and super fast. You can adjust the mix value over here to change the strength of the LUT, which is quite nice to be able to see because you might not always put a LUT at 100% mix, so it's quite nice to have that feature built into this management app. And if you want to see the original shot, you can simply uncheck this box, you'll see the original, and you can click on that to apply the LUT again. So it's a nice way to see a before and after comparison of the LUT. But you can also compare LUTs in double or quad view. So if I select double view, I can use this screen to apply a different LUT and I can select this window by clicking on it and unchecking the box. Now I have a before and after comparison and with this selected, I can just double click on different LUTs and try get different looks, comparing that to the before shot on the left. I'll quickly show you the quad view as well, which is quite nice. You can have your before shot here with the box unchecked and you can simply select one of these panels and apply a different LUT to these three shots and then you can compare those to your before shot to pick a look that works best for your shot. So you've scrolled through the hundreds of LUTs that you have on your computer but you need a better way to organize them. Color Finale LUTs can help you with that as well. So far, I've just loaded the two different LUT packs here from Color Finale, but if I select this, I can select my entire LUTs folder or another subfolder, and I have access to all the different LUTs I have on my computer. Now, you can also create smart collections, which you can do over here by clicking on the plus icon. And this is useful if you're trying to create an automatic collection based on a keyword or something like that. In this case, I'll call this collection S-Log, and I want to sort all the LUTs I have that have the text S log in it. And the reason I might want to do this is to filter out all the S log LUTs I have if I'm applying it to S log footage. So I'll add collection. And if I click on that collection here, you can see anything that's got the title S log in it has been added to this collection. Another way to organize your LUTs is to create a persistent collection, which you can do over here. You can rename that collection and I might call it favorites. As I go through all the LUTs on my computer and I find ones I particularly like, I can simply drag and drop that into my favorites folder because those might be the ones that I use often and it's nice to have those in their own little folder which is then easy to access. Previewing, comparing and organizing LUTs is so easy and so fast in the app 
but where the app really shines is by allowing you to quickly add those LUTs into your Final Cut Pro workflow. You can also add Final Cut Pro as an application, which will allow you to manage your LUTs within Final Cut Pro. You simply click on the plus here by applications and you enable the LUT manager for Final Cut Pro. It'll ask you to give access to where the LUTs are stored for Final Cut Pro, which you can find in your username, library, application support, and Pro Apps folder. I'll click allow, I'll close this, and if I click on this window here and set that to applications, you'll see all the LUTs that are already loaded into Final Cut will start to show up here. You'll see this number here will also increase as new LUTs are added. It's currently searching the folder and adding those LUTs. I can also click on this little background tasks icon and you can see the progress of the scan. I'll close this now that all the LUTs in Final Cut Pro have loaded into this app. I'll click on this window, maybe just put my favorites over there and I might just add one or two others just for the next section of this tutorial. Because what I like to do is to take my favorites from this folder and add them into a favorites folder within Final Cut Pro. So to do that, I'm going to right click on one of these LUTs and select reveal in Finder. That'll open up this LUT in my Finder window, which is in my Final Cut Pro apps folder. So all the LUTs are stored here. And now what I like to do is to create a new folder in this custom LUTs, which I will call favorites. If I click on this down arrow here, you'll see I've got my custom LUTs folder where all my folders show up. I don't have a favorites folder yet. So what I'll do is I'll just copy an item to my favorites because then Color Finale LUTs will then scan that folder. And if I click on favorites, I've now got that there. I put this LUT here just so that I can get this folder. Now what I'd like to do is take all of these LUTs and move them over to my favorites in Final Cut. With that done, I don't need this there anymore. I can remove that item. So just like that, my favorites within the app are synced to my favorites within Final Cut. If we switch over to Final Cut, you'll see that I've already put the shot on the timeline. And what we're going to do is go to the color tab here in my effects panel and add a custom LUT effect. Over here, I can drop down and I can go to my favorites and I can just select one of my favorites from there. So as you can see, that's a super easy way to manage your LUTs between the app and within Final Cut Pro. But another thing I'd like to quickly show you, I'm going to delete this custom LUT effect. And if you have Color Finale, you can add Color Finale to your clip. And under your color management section, you can choose your color profile. And I'm going to choose Assume Log because this is quite a flat image. If I assume log, and then I go to edit layers and add my LUT, which I can do from here. I'll scroll down until I find my favorites folder. There it is. And I can just double click on that LUT. It's also quite easy to customize because I can adjust the contrast here, drop the exposure. So adding a LUT to your footage and doing a few little color grading tweaks like this is super easy to do using Color Finale Pro and the Color Finale LUTs app. If you want to learn more about the amazing Color Finale 2 plugin for color grading, I did a video on that not so long ago, so I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. Another really cool feature of the Color Finale LUTs app is that you can export the different LUTs you've applied as still frames, or if you imported a video file, you can export the video with the LUT applied. This is handy if you need to send these to a client, for example, so that they can have a look at the grade or the grade options that you have in mind for the edit. With the LUT applied to this clip, you can simply hit the share icon and choose save to file to export a JPEG of this reference frame, or you can choose movie export, which will export the full video file. I'll click on export and I'll just save that to my movies folder. You can see the progress of the export over here on the background tasks window and it exports pretty quickly. Once it's done, you've got the new video clip with the LUT applied to it. So my final thoughts on the app, is this app for you? If you have hundreds of LUTs on your computer and you find that you only use a handful of them because it's such a mission to go through all the LUTs and find ones that you actually want to use, then absolutely. The Color Finale app will save you lots of time and a lot of headaches. At the time of making this video, Color Finale LUTs is only $14.99 or you can get the two Color Finale LUT collections that I showed you earlier in the video along with the app and only pay $59.99. If you feel like you already have enough LUTs and you don't need any more, then $14.99 is a really low price to pay to help you organize and manage your LUTs better. Thanks to Color Finale for sponsoring this video. We'll be giving away the LUT app as well as the two LUT collections to three of you guys. So don't forget to enter. The link is in the description down below. Click on that and follow the instructions. 
If you missed out on the giveaway and you still want to purchase the app, there will be a link down below for that as well. And don't forget to use the coupon code BRAD20 at checkout to get 20% discount. By the way, that 20% discount code works for Color Finale Pro as well. That's all for this video, guys. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video.